Hello, my desktop publishing students. Now, we're going to do some work on page breaks in the next little bit. And um, the different, but before we do that, I'll get a file open for you. So I want you to go to your classes drive, and there should be a folder in your desktop publishing called headers and footers. Okay, so go to headers and footers, and there's two folders in here, but your easiest way when you're looking for the just search and type in terms. That's the one we're looking for. And remember, I've always taught you, only type in four or five letters. That's enough. No more. Okay. And say open. All right. So now uh, terms is on your screen or should be on your screen. So first of all, go file, save as, and save it in your folder. So go to your U drive and go to your desktop publishing folder, your DTP. And let's make a folder here. Right click, go to new folder and type in page breaks. Okay, and we'll save everything in page breaks. All right, and the first one is term. So click in the file name box here. Press home, type in your first name, and put in the current date for you. And leave terms there as it is, and save it. And update it if it asks you to do that. Okay, the first thing I see is the current date here. So you all automatically know that you go to insert date and time. And remember, we use the third date and don't update it. Okay, remember, it can be used as a legal document, so we want it to be a permanent date. All right, so check that. All right, go control S to save. And now, talking about page breaks, in this document, right now we only have one page, but we're going to change that shortly, okay? And uh, so now watch. I'm going to go to view one page, and you can see it just fits on. So I'm going to go control A right now. All right, and we're going to make it size 14, just so it takes two pages, so that you can see something here. All right, now I'm going to go to View and say Multiple Pages, and I am now on two pages, all right? Okay, so now go Control-A, put it back, Control-A is still on, so that's fine. Go back to Home and set it back to size 12, and now you can go back to View and go to Page with or if you want to go to view one page, you can see that we're back onto one page. All right, so what we're going to do now is set insert as break, a page break, before the word chocolate terms. All right, so put your cursor right here on the C in chocolate terms. All right, now when we go to layout here and we go to breaks, Note that there's a section called page breaks. There's page, column, and text wrapping. Then you have something called section breaks next page. Now, there's a big, big difference between these sections. A page break allows you to break a page. But if you go to change the margins and you want different margins on one page, you can't use page break. All right. So as long as the margins are staying the same, then you can use page break. But if they're not, you've got to use a section break next page. And this is crucial for you to know, okay? So right now, we're not going to change any margins. All we are going to do is break a page. So we can go with page break. Now, do you see the words page break? It's right there, all right? And now if I go to view and I go to multiple pages, you can see that you've got your memo on this page and you've got your documentation about terms on the second page. Okay, so now it asks us to go to the end of the third paragraph on page one here. It says a brief description of each type of chocolate is listed. Now I'm going to go back to page with right now so that it makes it easier for you to see, okay, is listed. And we don't want to say below, we want to say on the next page or on, yeah, on the next page, on the next page. All right, so you change the wording there. And now it says select the, um, change the font size of the title chocolate terms. All right, so there's my chocolate terms. I selected it, and it said, um, 
I'm going to size it up a little bit. So I'm just basically going to go control right square bracket and size up about three times is good. Okay. And um, now it asked me, oh, to 16 points. It told me 16 points. All right. I went to 18. So I can take it back to 16. That's all right. And it says apply 24 points of spacing after. Okay. So you're going to go to remember paragraph and you're going to go 24 points after and you want single spacing all right so watch the change after chocolate terms when i click ok and there you can see your 24 points and then it asked us to center it so i'm going to go control e to center it all right so it asked me to insert the date well i already did that right as soon as i came there so don't worry about that we've already done it and it said don't forget to put our initials here so at the end of our paragraph here we'll put our initials oh not that I want just um, oh you know what guess what's on there I can tell you small cap so go up here click on your paintbrush and paint it so you should see a little L and a little M for my name and whatever your initials are so just change it that's not a big deal all right and uh, so now we could go to file print and we can go and you can see here's your uh, memo on this page and here's your documentation about chocolate terms on the second page and that's all you should have all right i'll go back there and now there's more than one way to do this um, we can go to view as you know and we can say view multiple pages like i just showed you or you can go to view and say one page and then you have one up here and one down here the other thing that you can do i'll go to page with just so you can see the change that's what we had before now if we go to zoom you can say zoom to whole page i never think to go that way but it is also another way that you can go to do it now also remember down here we can drag our slider and we can you know size it however that we want it so again that's strictly up to you which way you want to go and then we usually go back to page width because that makes it easy for everyone to be able to see all right so save your work that's it that's all we're going to do there so i'll stop and then i'll move on to the next one